me and Charlie. And then, then there's the Golden Gate. The trail coming out of the forest here on the cliffs leading to the Sutro Baths. So that's what's left of the Sutro Baths. Not much. It was pretty epic in its day. Baths. Charlie Dog. past Venice Beach, not the Venice Beach in California that you know, but a little tiny Venice Beach just south of Miramar. I think the California coastline is one of the most beautiful tribes around that I've been around. Gazzo's Creek State Park. I don't know exactly what town it's in, but they have kite surfing. So it could be thrown out here. Have a look. That's done. You're seeing the mechanic in Monterey. Switched out my broken or actually seized up U-joints. 
so that's good. We are off. We're in good shape. And we're heading to Big Sur. Surf subject to unexpected life-threatening waves and currents. All right, so I guess we're not going surfing. We're down on the beach in Big Sur. And there goes Charlie Dog. Charlie Dog! This is such a beautiful place. So there's some surfers out here. I'm gonna send the drone out, see if I can get some of their magic. my favorite spots in Big Sur, Garapada State Beach. I've taken honey here. I think I've taken every dog that I've ever owned here. Here it is, Garapada. This beach has a ton of caves and some great surf. So it's a little windy, so no drones today, but anyway, this should be fun. There's a fork right here. One to the right, take the one to the left if you want to go down to the beach. Cave over here. Charlie, let's go check out the cave. Cool. Super cool. A super cool cave. Yeah, the ocean. There's a Charlie dog. Dog. And there's the ocean out there. All right, let's go. So we're all used to the typical Highway 1 down the coast through Big Sur. Look at all the splendor, the ocean, the colors, the waves, the cliffs. But this time, we're gonna take a different route through Big Sur. We're gonna take the four-wheel drive route up through the mountains and show you something different. So 
just to show you how far away from the ocean we are on this dirt road we're enjoying so much wow we're in the redwoods now So we're just coming to the end of the off-road area paralleling Highway 1 through Big Sur. And it's not that hard. It's kind of fun. Just went through some redwoods. We're really high up. I would say probably a couple thousand feet. Maybe 1,500, 2,000 feet up. So pretty much the crest, well not quite the crest, but almost to the top of the mountain range that runs along Big Sur. The last little bit here going down is a little bit gnarly, so I would advise going slow so you don't wreck anything. And like I said before, um, you don't really need a four wheel drive. It's advisable, it'll be easier on your vehicle, but you can do this in a car, as long as you go slow. I had a guy stop, just bought a Subaru Outback yesterday, and asked me if he'll make it. Yeah, I've been through here before, and I know what it's like. It's fun, it's good for beginners, so if you're a beginner off-roader, this is a fun little start. It's got great scenery. It's cool. And it's not that long.
seven o'clock in the evening. We are on the south end of Big Sur. Just thought I'd stop and take a walk because that's what it looks like. Go ahead, Charlie. Go this way. Hopefully this takes us to the beach. <laughs> Charlie's all excited. You ready to go, Charlie? End of the day in Big Sur. Thanks for watching.